and oh look surprise um uh, i'm really i'm so grateful for this so uh we had can't open it right now but this is the special edition seventh anniversary uh booked and these apparently are very very hard to get so i can't thank them enough for saving this wouldn't be your corvette without a front lift issue this is true. That's how it, this it's is not, yours. He's not lying. This is how it's yours. Like He's it. definitely not lying. It's got a front lift issue. It's your Corvette now. So if I do get a Z06 down the road, I can just give you guys a heads up. The front lift is not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like maybe the lines need to be bleeded. Uh, bleed, bleated, bleed. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Bleed, bleed something. Um, ventilate it, right? Is that the word? Bled. Bled. Jesus, my wife's correct. It's not bleed it, bled. It's bleed, bled. Mm. Beep. Part take two. Welcome back. I hope everybody is having a great day. Thank you so much for clicking that button and checking out this channel. If you're new, my name is Jeff and this is why I share my personal passions with you guys. Anything from my personal watch collection, my passion for guns, and in this case, we're talking about cars. In specific, my 2023 C8 hardtop convertible special edition 70th anniversary Corvette and this is in carbon flash. So uh, if you haven't seen uh, any of my previous videos, I used to have a rapid blue and a 3LT C Corvette. And just like that one, I'm gonna share everything uh, with you guys with the ownership of this beautiful car. Hence the title of this video. So it was completely unexpected, but I do have two new problems with this car so far. We're gonna take a trip to Whitmore and Pennsylvania. And we're gonna see what we can uh, uh, do to get these problems resolved and of course I'll keep you guys posted. If that dealership sounds familiar because uh, there's a lot of big YouTubers and people from all around the world that go to this dealership. Uh, Nick Newmaker, Matt Beaver, uh, Mason, all of those guys, I can't thank them enough for their friendship and their amazing customer service. So I highly recommend you check them out if you have not already. So let's take a look at the first problem with this car and uh, if you guys got any comments at all, if you got any solutions, uh, drop a comment, uh, let me know, and let me know if you're having any issues with your car in specific with these problems as well. Oh, look who it is. Yeah, uh-huh. That can only mean one thing, pizza, right? So yeah, guys, um, uh, unfortunately there are two problems I want to share with you guys. Uh, they're not huge problems as of yet. Uh, hopefully they won't be. Um, I want to thank Whitmore for letting me film here as usual. Mason is dealing with the customer and he'll be over here in a minute. But uh, the front lift is unfortunately having problems. I'm getting a service uh, indicator on for the front lift, so it's not operating as it should. And it sounds like it's, uh, it's on its way out the door when it's trying to operate. So that's unfortunate. And then the second problem is, and it's pretty small, but uh, the panel gap uh, in the rear is uh, pretty big. So it's raised up pretty well. Uh, this is not something you should really worry about too much, but we're gonna get it fixed. But if this does get too close to this, as far as the panel gap, which it's not right now, it could cause chipping in the future. But that's not an issue with this particular car, but something to look out for. So, uh, yeah, we're exhausted. It's always a long drive. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a long drive for us. It's roughly about two hours to get here. So, uh, trying to be as enthusiastic as I possibly can, but all we're thinking about, honestly, is food. And, oh, look, surprise. Um, uh, I'm really, I'm so grateful for this. So, uh, we had can't open it right now but this is the special edition seventh anniversary uh booked and these apparently are very very hard to get so i can't thank them enough for saving this and this guy is the car cover that came with the car that we did not pick up before so i believe this has the special edition seventh anniversary logos on the car cover as well but this book uh like i said apparently is very very hard to get uh rick conti from the uh, corvette channel uh showed one of these so we'll have to look at that oh that's beautiful We'll have to break this open later and uh, show you guys what that's all about. So when Mason gets over here, uh, we'll talk about the problems that we're having as far as the front lift and getting this fixed and also putting the badges back on the car. So the Stingray emblem, the Corvette, which is all this is completely uh, taken off right now. And the 70th anniversary special edition logo on the front will be getting put back on. Unless you guys got other opinions, leave a comment and let me know. Should I leave this car debadged or should I not? I've been going back and forth. What are your thoughts? I definitely like the Stingray in the back. Do you really? Oh yeah, it's fancy. Do you really? I like it a lot. Oh, okay. I don't know, I'm a hit or miss. Because this is a special edition uh, 70th anniversary, um, I want to keep them on there so people can recognize what it is. 
uh, you know, a lot of people don't know when this car is e-badge, sometimes what the car is. So if you're not a car enthusiast, they look at this and they kind of start grinding their gears trying to figure out what this car is. Um, but just because of what this car is, I was thinking about having them put back on. I mean, deep edge in the front, it just, it looks amazing to me. But guys, double comment, let me know what you think. Also, if you're having problems with your front lift, in specific having the light indicator come off for service, uh, let me know. And what was the resolution? Uh, the blue cap is on there and the front lift is not leaking. So blue cap is the, the correct cap that should be on there. Uh, if you remember correctly, my last C8 uh, had a front lift problem. It was simply just the cap. So, yeah. And look what we have here. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. All right, yeah, let me give you this. So, these are the badging. Perfect. Um, now, you can ignore the, the Corvette lettering because you said you got that, right? That came in? Yeah, that's here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to get this stuff put back on. Um, I'm so hit or miss, but... For the sake of the car, I think it's the right thing to do. You want to leave it off, right? I just like the way they look with it off. Yeah. It looks she, good. she likes the Stingray. I like the Stingray. It looks clean. He wants to leave it off. I kind of do want to leave it off, but for the sake of what this car is, I want to put this stuff back on. Some but uh, them, yeah, some of them are okay. Like I like, I like the front emblem. Yeah. I don't. Yes. I don't like the Stingray. You know what? I agree with you. So this you is what we're gonna do. Better. I like the front. The front's cool. Random moment. This is what we're gonna do. This thing ray is not getting put on. Whoa. The Corvette lettering is, and the front emblem. The front. Yeah. So this guy, we'll have to display that. There you go. Somewhere else in the house. Yeah. Guys, let me know what you think. Mistake? Not a mistake? I don't know. Maybe not really. No. Yeah. Um, like not a mistake. Term wise, that's what I said it. <laughs> hey. So is there a bulletin like or anything for this issue? No. So this might be the first one again? Nah, I mean, no, not really. there probably is something. It's probably a software thing. Probably a software thing. I'm glad I'm not the first person again, because last time, yeah, that was you the one that created the, the You were the pioneer last time. The pioneer, the pioneer of car seven problems. <laughs> Could you imagine if I bought like a McLaren, right? I, mean, I would be the pioneer of God it, knows it what. It wouldn't be your Corvette without a front lift issue. This is true. That's how it, it's not, yours. He's not yeah. lying. Yeah. This is how it's yours. Yeah, like He's it. definitely not lying. It's got a front lift issue. It's your Corvette now. So if I do get a Z06 down the road, I could just give you guys a heads up. The front lift is not going to work. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're what? You're, uh, you're two for two now. I'm two for two, man. Yeah. Oh, maybe down the road would be three for three. I don't know. There you go. We'll see. So yeah, guys, all jokes aside, uh, they'll look at it. And then, you know, we'll recap and uh, see what the solution was. And hopefully it is just a software issue. But I can tell you that motor sounds like it's like it's uh, it might be on its way out. I don't know. Or it could be... I've seen some of them that they'll get like air in the system. Yeah, I didn't take the cap off. Well, even if you don't take the cap off, it'll be from like new. It'll oh, be, really? It'll get air in the system. Oh. There's, like a, uh, there's like a bleed procedure basically that they have to do to get it out. Okay. And um, that's yeah, good to know. That's, if it's sounding like the pump's loud. It sounds like the pump's loud, brother. It probably needs to bleed them. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like maybe the lines need to be bleeded. Uh, bleed, bleeded, bleed. I don't even know how you pronounce it. <laughs> bleed, bleed something. Um, ventilate it, right? Is that the word? Bled. Bled. Jesus, okay. my wife's correct. It's not bleed it, bled, it's bleed, <laughs> bled. Shh, mm. Beep. <laughs> Part take two, four. Okay, so that's probably what it's going to be. Um, and then the back, it's probably just needs like a shimmy on a screw or something and pop that thing up. Okay. Guys, I don't want to hold them up any longer, so we're going to go look at some cars and cool. eat food. And we'll see you soon, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Soonish. Soonish? Yeah. Real quick in YouTube time. In YouTube time, this will be a couple of seconds for you guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to get a dictionary and figure out how to pronounce these freaking words. <laughs> All right. I needed to get some pizza. Need. Okay. I'm shutting up. See you guys soon. So apparently only me. Um, our solution is... <laughs> We gotta contact GM. <laughs> again? Yeah, again. Again. No, it's super weird. It, it basically has one code stored in it for the front lift system. Um, What's the code? It's... You probably don't remember. Have, yeah, I don't remember. I, yeah. I'd have to read 45, it. 45, 25, 35, yeah, See something. Um, but anyways, it basically tells you that it's in... The car is seeing the front lift activated while it's moving when right. it shouldn't. And then it sets this code and it says it's an information code only. So it doesn't really give you anything to go off of. So right. we gotta reach out to them, see what they say. <laughs> and here we are again. 
<laughs> I'm only laughing because my last car was the same scenario. But I'm leaving the car here with them and we'll figure it out. As far as the badging, uh, hell of a job. It's really, really easy to cut all the 3M tape <laughs> on there and to make it look perfect. No, it's not. And apparently it's not. It's not. It's well, I not. mean, really, those badges are made, if you take them off, you're just putting a new badge on. Yeah, like, they're, they're laser not, cut, they're right? They're not really, yeah, the, the tape is laser cut. Yeah. So they're not made to like reuse, but if you have patience. They did a hell of a job. If you have patience, you can. Yes. <laughs> and here's the thing. If you do it wrong, you have a chance of getting burnt, uh, dirt, blah, dirt build up and grime and everything else and it could really damage your paint down the road. True. So. It's gotta be the Do damage. it right. The way we roll. I'm glad he did it. Anyway, I don't wanna hold him up any longer. Um, we'll keep you guys posted what the progress is. They'll have the car until they figure it out. This C6, oh my God, Z06. I don't know if this is for sale or if somebody owns this, um, but these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, obviously, I'm a sucker for black, but what do you guys think? Do you like that body style? Yeah, but there's a beautiful orange car there that I really like too. Oh, the but orange I also car. I like the uh, raised oh. SUV and truck. Yes. You know what I mean? Because then you can't fall them out. You're you, good. Yeah, you she, can drive it. You, like like the, you would like the T-Rex. The, the That's what you would like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't be wrong. These Corvettes, they're beautiful. Absolutely lovely. But I don't want to be the one to scrape the bottom of it. So I prefer lifted, gorgeous, and sturdy. Rachel proof. <laughs> all the way so we're thinking about getting her truck lifted um like this but yeah blue like the t-rex or i don't think the ford raptor but that, that t-rex is just freaking awesome so she's talking about this uh, i don't know if that's a z06 or if that's a grand sport c7 you know what and then when i see the c7s i'm like i like that too that's my issue i like them all so uh what's that i thought i heard some beeping i wanted to make sure it wasn't my truck ah so we want to look at this guy huh love the color all right guys so all these are for sale so if you're looking for a c7 uh convertible uh and in this case it's going to be the grand sport oh, here you go gorgeous. yeah that color pops okay 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 oh, i like the c7s too i don't know which one i like better in body style oh, I love it. but i did have a, a c7 grand sport 2019 and the sale price on this is 68.995 Hit up Nick if you guys are interested. Um, I'll put his information in here. Nick's a good guy. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, this is the 70th anniversary. This is a special edition just like mine, 2023, and they have one for sale. You're not gonna be seeing a whole lot of these for sale, guys, so if you're interested, I would jump on this as soon as possible. Uh, this car has the competition seats. I don't believe it has the carbon fiber inside. It may or may not, it's hard to tell inside uh, from this point of view. But it comes with the stripes. It has the aero package as well. I would jump on this as fast as possible if you're looking for these because these are gonna become very rare. Uh, I think build is right around 3,100 is all they built of these so far. So guys, that, that's the car of the day from what I've seen so far. I'm a little biased obviously. And we have a Stingray uh, C7. Uh, this is the 2019 Z06. This is freaking beautiful. This might be the Z07 package. Uh, hard to tell from here, but this is gorgeous. So if you're looking for a 2016, I mean, first impressions, it looks like it's absolutely flawless. Uh, there you go. There's your price, 73,995 tan and black interior my assumption is this is probably a low mileage car because this is wow love it love it love it love it